Hello, I welcome all of you in my this video, Factorial Designs. Prior to this, we have studied about latent scale design, uh, gray colored scale design. Today, we will discuss about factorial experiments. So, what are the factorial experiments? Because designs or factorial experiments are used for the conduction of to find out the all possible trials to conduct all possible trials that are uh, that are available with the combination of all levels of the factors. Let's suppose we have we start with a very simple example. Let's suppose we have only two factors, factor A and factor B, and we have only two levels of these factors. Okay, so we have two levels of factor A, two levels of factor B. Let's suppose I represent these factors, uh, these levels as high and low. Means the factor A has two levels. One is minus one low, and the second one is high, represented by one. Same is the case with the second factor. B has one low level, minus one and one high level one then what is the factorial design factorial design is a design that will make that will give us all possible combinations for the experimentation means you can say if i design the experiments how i will design so first of all i will write here a here b will design the first uh, whole design of factorial design it will say that the first experiment will be lower level of the factor a and lower level of the factor b both are at minus one then we will say second experiment second experiment will be higher level of the factor a that will be one and still the lower level of the factor b that is equal to minus one okay so we have done the lower level of and the higher level of the factor b of the factor a with lower level of the factor b then what we will do we will again do the same that lower level of the factor A and a higher level of factor A with the higher level of the factor B. So I will write lower level of the factor A and higher level of the factor B and then higher level of the factor B with the higher higher level of the factor A with the higher level of the factor B. So in this case we have designed over factorial experiments for of two level uh, for two factors each at two levels and here if we will write our response variables fine so we will say that the when the both of a and b at low level like this you can say from this figure it will be quite obvious to you that when a is at low level b is at low level we got 20 so we got a response of 20 then we will say the second experiment a at positive higher level b at lower level so this is the factor a and then this is the factor a and then we will move from its lower level to its higher level okay so here a is 1 and b is minus 1 we got the response of 40 we will write here 40 then third experiment third experiment say a at lower level but b at higher level so a at lower level a at lower level we got we have done two experiments at what experiment was b at low level but we are interested now in this one because at this a is at lower level while b at higher level so we got our response equal to 30 for this four experiment both a and b are high levels so a high b high we got 5 2 so in such a way we have documented our response variables from this figure okay so how we'll write such factorial design that how if we have let's suppose uh, two factors and each at two level how many experiments should we have to design the factorial design so we'll write two raised to power two the two main is this is equal to level and the superscript this is equal to number of factors okay for example if you say that i have three factors okay and i have four levels of each factor what i will do i will write 4 raised to power 3 and it will be equal to 64 so we will have to design a factorial design with 64 experiments okay now after this we will have to calculate the factor effect so what is the effect of a factor so we can say the change in the mean response so mean response means in the response variable when the factor is changed from its low level to high level how we can explain this so for that i will first calculate and tell you people that how we can calculate the effect of a 
factor and then i will uh, explain that what is meant by this 21 that so how we will calculate the effect of a factor a very simple some of the values that are at high level of a factor of any factor so we have 40 and 52 which are at high level of the factor a you can see from this uh, design that the 52 is at high level of the factor a and 40 is at the high level of the factor a you can also see from this diagram that the, uh, at the high level of the factor a this one you have 40 and 52 so we have taken the sum of the 40 and 52 and then we have taken the average of man divided by taking uh, by dividing by 2 then we will always do the subtraction and subtract the sum of the values that are at low le level of that factor so at the factor of for factor a the low level values are 20 and 30 we have taken the sum of 20 and 30 and then divided by 2 for the taking the average we subtracted these both answers and we got 21 and now what is this 21 meant 21 is the factor effect okay so what is factor effect now we can we can interpret it that with the increase in the factor a from its low level to its high level we got an increase of 21 units on in the response variable if the value is positive there will be an increase in the response variable if the value is negative we got a decrease in the response variable now we will calculate the effect of the factor b so how we will calculate first of all as i told you earlier that i will have to first of all i will have to take the sum of the uh, factor b at its high level the high level values are 30 and 52 these are 30 and sorry 52 is 32 and 52 30 and 52 and if we take average by dividing by 2 then i will do the subtraction from the lower level of factor b values so you can see that the low level of the factor b values are are 20 and 40 <laughs> so you can uh, calculate so you can see these values uh, from the from the table so how you will get from the table you can see that for the uh, low level of the factor b here b low level again b low, low level you got 20 and 40 again from the figure you can see b at a lower level it is 20 and it is 40 so 20 and 40 are at low level while 32 and 30 and 52 are at level you can see that the b factor has this one these two one one at positive levels of the b factor you got the values 30 and 52 so we have sub added them after calculation we got 11 now you can easily interpret, interpret that that with the increase when we move from low level of factor b to high level of the factor b there will be an increase of 11 units in the response variable and the b effect of the b level b uh, from the when we move from low to high this it it will create a positive a positive effect on the response variable now whether the factor a and factor b whether they have an interaction effect or not so what is meant by the interaction interaction means the combined effect of a and b both on the response variables sometime this interaction effect is positive and sometimes it's negative how it's positive interaction how negative interaction whether there is an interaction or not i will give you a clue uh, for the graphical interpretation let's suppose in this figure uh, figure 5.3 the two lines are parallel to each other so when the lines are parallel to each other you will say that there is no interaction effect between the factors right? means when we are changing the uh, when we are moving from low level to high level of the factor there is no cross effect on the response in very simple words i am going to explain it that if we increase factor a from low to high okay for example take these two experiments first of all in your mind okay so in this in this experiment we have taken constant the lower level of the factor b so when we are increasing the change or increase so we can say that there is no interaction at this figure because the effect of 
and the effect of any level of one factor will not have a negative effect or crossing effect on the another level uh, on the another factor level well if we are uh, if we are taking the example uh, in the next page i'm going to the next page so this is the introduction that uh, i assume this when i have keep uh, i have uh, first of all i have performed the experiment by keeping the low level factor be constant so when i have uh, when i perform the experiments give me answer i have performed the experiment by keeping, by keeping the lower level of the factor a is constant and i have changed the factor b from lower to higher so look at this there is an increase i and it's increase okay fine but uh, what happened if i do the experiments at the high level of the factor a okay by keeping constant high level of the factor a when i will change again the factor b from its low to higher what happened there is a decrease from 50 to 12. so what we can conclude from this that one level of a factor at one level of the factor over response is increasing at second level of the factor high over response is decreasing so once that such, such, such situation occurs you will say that there is an interaction between the two factors a and b that one that when the changing of levels of one factor have a effect on the levels of another factor we will say that there is an interaction between the two factors i will explain it using graphically this is the experiment at this experiment we have a at lower level b at low level we got a value okay then when i am going to increase the b is at low level again but the a is at high level so there is an increase in our response variable okay third experiment a at low level b at high level a at low b at high this one experiment 40. Okay. so when i'm going to in, i'm going to change the settings and when i'm conducting the experiment that b at its high level this one b at its high level and a also at its high level we got an increase decrease significant decrease in our response variable decrease so we can say that there is an interaction effect exists between the two factors keep in mind statistically when the two lines are parallel to each other there is no interaction effect between the two factors and when the two lines are crossing each other there is a strong interaction effect between the two factors keep in touch thanks a lot for watching this video bye bye